For Puerto Rico, that's what U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal is calling for after he toured the island over the mm -hmm. weekend after it was rocked by multiple earthquakes and aftershocks. Fox 61's Lisette Nunez is live in Hartford, uh, where the senator is expected to now share some plans on how to help rebuild the island. Tim, Erica, good morning. And over the weekend, we had a chance to speak to U.S. Senator Blumenthal while he was still on the island. So some of the places that he went to include Ponce, Guayanilla, Juanica. There's just some of the places that got hit the worst in terms of earthquakes as well as aftershocks. So some of the locations he also visited included shelters, schools. One school specifically in Juanica collapsed shortly after one of the first earthquakes that hit there. It served about 200 students, those students not able to return to classes. And when we spoke to Senator Blumenthal, he was pretty open and candid and says he feels the federal government has simply not done enough to help the island. Let me be very blunt. The federal government is doing nowhere near enough. In fact, our nation is failing our fellow Americans in Puerto Rico of the uh, hundreds or tens of billions of dollars authorized, only a fraction has been released because the Trump administration has blocked it. But larger scale, Puerto Rico needs a new electric grid, new sources of power, new schools and health facilities, education, and the children of Puerto Rico are particularly suffering because of the lack of federal aid. And happening later this morning, we expect to hear from the senator. He will be announcing plans to offer help to Puerto Rico. That will be happening at 10 this morning in Hartford. For now, we're live in Hartford. Lisette Nunez, Fox 61 News.